and rushed off my wheels. Oh, you don't need to remind me. Oh, hello. You're tired too, huh? Well, I assume this is normal on this branch line. Especially when it's referred to as Thomas's branch line. Yeah, it tends to get a lot of people's attention. Hopefully it'll ease up soon. At least you have a partner to help you at the quarry. I wish I had someone like Mavis help me on the branch line. Mavis? Who's that? <laughs> That's a good joke! Wait, you serious? You never learned her name? Wait, do you mean that black diesel? With the yellow and black stripes around her face? Yeah. Oh, her. Never bother to learn her name. She always causes trouble for me whenever I come to the quarry. I've had the occasional disagreement with her, but she doesn't seem too unreasonable. It's hard to think that when she intentionally parks the trucks far away from the pickup spot. I wish Toby was here, so I don't have to deal with her anymore. I'm sure if you tried, maybe you and Mavis could get along. I have to finish my delivery. I'll talk to you later, Rosie. Later, Percy. Keep it down, I'm trying to sleep. Oh, it's you. Hello, Mavis. I'm just here to pick up and leave, that's all. That's good to know. The trucks are in their usual spot, so get to it. Uh, I'll get back to my nap. Why'd you always put the trucks so far away? Everyone else has left them in the designated siding, except for you. You've gotten them easily enough from where I leave them. What's a few more meters? There are rules that are meant to be followed. It's supposed to make things easier for everyone involved. I think you're just being a fussy little engine. Fussy? I'm the one who's fussy? Yup. You know what? I don't know why I bother. I'm going to be late if I stick around talking to a stubborn diesel like you. Excuse me, I have real work to do. Jeez, you're as bad as those big engines. Yes, dear, my new paint is fabulous. Thank you for asking. Wait, what do you mean you prefer the other one? Huh? <sighs> Did I make it? <sighs> you definitely made it. Can't say you're on time, though. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. How late am I? About ten minutes late. Oh, this never would have happened if I hadn't caught up dealing with Mavis. Darling, what does Mavis have to do with you being late? Wait, you know her too? Not really everyone on our branch line, or the island for that matter, knows each other. No, what's wrong? She always puts her tracks in the most inconvenient spot. Oh, that doesn't sound that bad. In the furthest part of the quarry. Sometimes it's at the very back. Okay, that's pretty bad. It's like that every time I go there. And she never listens to me. Plus she likes to sleep on the job. Ha! Really useful engine indeed. Oh, you poor engine being overworked to scrap and back while being treated unfairly. You deserve better. Like me. You and I, we are the same. I'm not sure that's entirely accurate, but if you think doing passenger work and delivering milk is hard, boy, I feel bad for you. Shut up, Percy. This isn't about you. <laughs> anyway, the point is you should teach Mavis a lesson or two. How? I'm not like Thomas. Of course you're not like him. You didn't crash into a station master's house. Well, as long as you get your point across to Mavis, that's all that matters. Hmm. I'll think about it. Ooh. Good morning, sirs. It's rather early. Are the passengers waiting for us already? Uh, yeah, about that. Well, what's wrong? Has there been an accident? No, no, everything is fine. We're not doing passengers today. Percy is taking care of that. So, it's a goods train then, right? You could say that, just 
involves shunting. Seriously, what's going on? Oh, um, we're working with Mavis at the quarry from now on. I beg your pardon? Working with Mavis? From now on? We know how much you two get along, but it's Mr. Percival's orders. I guess I can't argue with that. Whatever his intentions, there must be a good reason. I'll try and get along with Mavis. Glad to hear it. Now let's get to work. We don't get paid for doing nothing all day. I doubt Mavis will be willing to try and work with me. There you are, Rosie. Took you long enough. Sorry. A cow got in the way of the tracks again. Never mind that. I'm going to need your help shunting these trucks around. Fine. Let's get this over with. Looks like that's the last one. I'll get it. That's all right, I can get it. You can head back to the sheds. This is my job? Since when do you care about working? I've always cared about my work. Your constant napping really gave that impression. Constant? I've been doing so much work compared to you. All you have been doing is yapping around trucks being in the wrong place. Why you? Yeah, fine. You want the truck so badly? Here! Mavis! Are you alright? What do you think? I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Well, you did, but at least you apologized. It's going to take ages to get this buffed out. I'll go and get the help and be right back as soon as I can. I am disappointed. Not only have you caused severe delays, but Mavis has been severely damaged. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't want to hurt Mavis. To be honest, I kind of brought this on myself. So... Since we are in a... <clears throat> predicament during this busy time of year, you will have to work in the quarry alone. This might give you a chance to be more careful with trucks. Do I make myself clear? Y yes sir. Okay, what happened? Oh, I accidentally hurt Mavis. And now I'll have to work in the quarry alone. That's awful! Why did you do that? I lost my temper and made a truck crash into her. I feel really bad. You should. Even if you don't see eye to eye with Mavis, that's no reason to lash out. I know. What should I do? Have you tried to talk to her about it in a calm manner? Maybe that will help you to come to an understanding. No, I haven't. But I'll give it a try. All right, I'm on my own. This shouldn't be too hard. It's a lot smaller than Vickerstown, or the port in California for that matter. Never thought you'd be excited to see me. Working the quarry by myself was harder than I thought it was. 
I don't know how you would be able to do it for so long. I'm so exhausted. That's why I requested a partner to help me. I can see why. It's like rapidly just throwing rocks, and it never stops. <laughs> That's what I thought when I first worked here. I see you figured out why I put the trucks where I normally do. Yeah, it's the best place to put them so they don't get in the way, or get stuck on the even terrain. Exactly, and if I put the trucks where you'd like me to leave them, they'd roll away because the trucks aren't even. I hope you didn't think I was doing that on purpose to inconvenience you. Well, a little bit. I'm sorry for thinking that. And for hurting you. Honestly, that's not the worst thing I've ever been through. The worst thing is if you had the trucks push me onto a broken bridge. Did that happen? Not to me. Toby got caught by their antics. These trucks can be pretty troublesome. Wow, that's crazy! It was. I'm sorry too. I shouldn't have been so harsh. Maybe we can let bygones be bygones. Sounds like a plan. Speaking of which, if you still want to partner up with me, I have some ideas for making the quarry a bit more efficient. Really now? I'm interested to hear it. So, my idea is that every time the trucks are filled, we don't put them at the very back. Instead, we take it. Oh, how do you put up with these people? Could say they prefer my other paint job over the one I have now. Well, it was very nice, but I think the one you have now is good too. I don't see your point. My point is, is that they just don't understand fashion. I mean, come on. I was feeling nostalgic when I was getting a repaint, but all of a sudden it's now a fad to bring back old things. Uh, no offense. Oh, thank goodness. It's a surprise to see you two here, let alone together. Does that mean you two have made up? We have. Rosie has some good ideas. We finished our work early, so we came here to make one last delivery for the day. And I thought it would be a good idea to do a double header. The more we pull, the more we get it done. It seems my words of wisdom paid off. You're welcome, Rosie and Mavis. I helped too. Yes, you both did, and we're very grateful. Come on, Mavis. Let's get this shipment done. It's nice to see you, Daisy. Likewise. Give my regards to the painters when you go get your paint redone. Your colour's looking a bit bright. Excuse me? This is the way I always look. You see, Percy, this is exactly what I was talking about. There's no appreciation Station master. How much style. longer until we can Does leave? Like a couple more minutes. Oh, I miss Thomas.